Hey, what's up? It's Decoy here. I got another game of Domination. Didn't really get much response from the Search and Destroy video, although I only have, say, about 30 subscribers, maybe. Not one real comment. Any sort of registered excitement towards the Search and Destroy thing, so, uh. Yeah. I don't know. I, I've pretty much given up on the idea of YouTube, to be honest. This is probably going to be one of my last uploads, but, uh, just got two fresh subscribers today, so I thought I'd give you an upload. Um. See what happens, really. Uh, so this right here is me and one of my clan mates, teammates, whatever you want to call them. Um, recently decided not to go so heavily clan based. Uh, just pretty much rolling with people I've met from Huppet and you know friends I've gathered along the way, rather than solidly dedicating myself to LLG as such. Uh, so here's me and Chris or Flo. And the people you can see talking in the party chats because I've obviously recorded from theatre and we were all chatting while I was uploading. Because for me, Xbox is a lot more about, you know, the time I spend with friends that I've met over Xbox Live and obviously friends that I already have that are also on Xbox Live. Um, rather than the gaming as such, you know, most of the time I'm just getting on looking to jump in a party with a few friends and have a bit of a laugh. Uh, so this right here is what I'd say would be a pretty average game. It's fairly high kill, uh, not particularly low def, uh, because we're playing a team of people who want to win. You know, if you want to, uh, <laughs> if you want to win objective-based game modes, you have to die basically. Sometimes when you come up against like a reasonable opposition, it's really not that easy. Uh, you could, you could follow other YouTubers. Perhaps learn how to play team deathmatch and free for all, and you know, play like a bitch. I created a fresh account the other day. I started playing like a bitch on team deathmatch. It's boring. For eight hours in, I'm only level twenty, but my KD is exciting. It's about three point five, even with all the random bullshit that goes on in this game. All the people running up behind me with marathon and hacker and shanking me in the back when I'm wearing Astro forties, cranked up. Amazing. <coughs> Uh, so yeah, this is, this is pretty much what I do. I, I play objective, I play on the objective, I defend it, I cap it, and I've got above average skills. I'd say I wouldn't say I'm anything amazing. You wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't last in a one v one against a Sandy Ravage or a fucking ex Socrates or whoever else is out there with their humongous skills. But on average, I tend to win. I tend to be towards the top of the leaderboard. Uh, play some, play against some people in a competitive sense, and I do all right, I suppose. Played the other day with some scrims against uh, Lol Steve Lol, and three of his friends. A little four v four scrim with some people I met on Huppet, and uh, yeah, it was good fun. They they beat us three straight games, and then we beat them in one domination. To be honest, they were much better than us, but you know it's fun. And what's more fun than anything else is playing people who are better than you and, in fact, getting better yourself. Uh, so as you see here, that was a nice triple. <laughs> um, we're playing against people who want to win. And, you know, when you're when you're playing, not everything's a montage moment. Quite often, you've just got to be just like this. You've just got to sit back. You've got to wait for them to come. You've got to hop out of the right moments. Just generally use your brains. I mean, like, if you're dead... They're going to jump on B. You see right there, I was down there on my own. I've cleared five, six, seven kills single-handedly within about a minute. But none of it was exciting because I was behind that bit of wood there. They could barely see me. But it's how you win. This is how you win games. There's nothing too exciting here. I'm not facing like the most amazing group of people. But they do want to win. They keep running at the flags. They're throwing their grenades. They're throwing their secondaries. My team isn't getting there as fast because everyone worries about their kill-to-death ratio nowadays. I, on this account, hold a 1.8 something KD, 1.87 I think. And that's that's all flags. But I hold a win-loss of over 3, which considering the fact that most of the time I'm not even playing with a team, isn't too bad. Uh, on, my, on my fresh account that I just started, my win-loss is low, even though I'm only playing Team Deathmatch and I'm playing it, I'm getting... Very high KDs and getting like 18 and O's. I get a bit flashy here. I don't know why. I just I felt like my game was really on point this night, and I started like doing stupid shit, like pulling out my pistol and thinking I could do it. But in the end, realised that I should really just use that sort of stuff for 
what you should use it for, which is when you have to. <laughs> you know, when you need to reload and someone's running at you. That's when you want to use your pistol. You could run around for an entire game using your pistol if that's your if that's what you find fun. You could run around for an entire game knifing people if that's what you think's fun. But it's not what works at the end of the day, is it? That's what you want to know. You want to know how to win games, how to actually back up a team, how to be someone who, when someone's getting their party of six ready to go and try and get a win streak on domination, who who do you invite? I can tell you now, I'll be on most of my friends' invite lists for that because I'm there. I, I win. It's as simple as that. And I, I get mad when we don't win, as a lot of my friends will attest to. And I also get some pretty cool shit going on because I watch a lot of YouTube videos and although a lot of it nowadays isn't anything like this, you know, there's no there's no domination, there's no sabotage, there's no cap the flag, there's no real advice. You're seeing a little bit more of it now with Optic going competitive, you're seeing a lot more uh, due to this competitive playlist. People's interest is starting to pick up with it now, which is why I'm hoping that maybe people will start taking note of these videos that I've put up so far. Uh, it's a good one, tactical insertion. I don't know why people genuinely think that if they're standing on top of a tactical insertion that they're going to get away with respawning. It's not Modern Warfare 2, you can't switch to a riot shield and surprise me. There's nothing you can really do that's going to surprise me. You're going to respawn and I'm going to shoot you. Chances are I've probably laid a claymore on you and run away anyway. <laughs> because I don't take risks either. Uh, that's a very good camping spot right there. I was actually uh, I was actually a bit hangry by the fact that he managed to get me, and I messed up his grenade. Look, catches off the corner there because that would have had him. So I uh, I go around and shank him in the back because uh, that's what I do to campers. <laughs> this is domination. You're losing. That's cheap. If his team was making a push at B at the time and he was maybe holding us off, that'd be fine. But all my guys are still under B. He's not doing anything for his team. And I bet if I went and watched from the other side, his team probably wasn't even going to be making a push for it at that particular time. He was just being obnoxious. So anyway, we've lost B again at this stage. Bear in mind that that camper was dead. <laughs> I wasn't just talking out my ass. I do know what happens in my gameplays. Like a lot of people. I know that I die a lot. I know that I make quite a few mistakes in this gameplay. I know that I get a bit impatient sometimes. I also know I missed some stuff like earlier on you know, I noticed in the game I was sat right here and a kid was actually capturing B. That's because he had Ghost Pro, I didn't hear it called. I didn't see it flashing. And therefore didn't notice it because I was visually unaware because I was transfixed on the little area that you see right there and listening for people on the left. Uh seeing a lot of FAMAS recently. Because it's the best gun in the game. You can you can say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, you know you're gone. COD 4 in its heyday, it's all M16. you got World of War in its heyday, it's all MP40. It's always going to be exactly the same, because if you give us one gun that's going to be better than all the rest in most fields, then that's what everyone's going to use. When I was scrimming the other day, funny enough, everyone was using Famasis, so I changed it up. I used the AUG, because in my personal experience, against a Famas, the AUG always seems to win, but the AUG doesn't win against the Galil, because the Galil just has that steady, solid, ranged attack that literally never seems to fail. <laughs> oh, look at that fail. That was horrible. I tried to get flashy again. <laughs> uh, so it's quite obvious here that we're going to win, really. We've got me and Chris. We're both trying very hard. We've got fairly strong gun skill. And we both love to win. Uh, my main... I don't stay so much on as many caps as I should, maybe, because I'm already 50, prestige level 50. I've got my perks pro What I really want is just to get high kill games. I, I want to finished buzzing that I've really tried. Uh, that nade right there. Now I, want, I once landed that nade <laughs> right near the beginning of the game when we were losing B. And I got my kill and I was I was really pleased that I'd worked out a nade spot. And I was going to release a video but then I'd never hit it ever since. <laughs> so I'm still trying to work out whether or not I'm messing that up in some way or not. But uh, I think I get a hit marker right about here. No. No I don't. So I still haven't actually worked out whether that nade spot works or not. But, uh, yeah, as you can see here, easiest way is to hang around back. Yeah, it's always best to uh, to evaluate a situation before you jump straight in headstrong. Uh, you know, there's no use jumping in 1v5 
every time because, you know, occasionally you're going to pull it off and it's going to be amazing. You're going to feel really great. But uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to die and you're not going to get the flag caps and then you've got to run back in again. <laughs> What's this right here? I've got flak jacket on and I get do get tagged by that rolling thunder, but I think, well, my screen isn't flashing too much, so I'm just going to jump down because they're going to try and cap me any second and uh, die due to that. <laughs> but I think Chris said he pulled up and uh, got back there already, so it didn't really matter. Um, yeah, so that's the end of the game. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, bye.